girl in my class. She was bullying me, and I, and I really tried to ignore her to keep the peace. But one day, I said, like, no. Sometimes you have to defend yourself and stand up for yourself. And that's what I did. Do you actually know how to stand up for another person? Hey, you know, I was bullied too. I know it's hard. At some point, you're going to realize that they just solved your problem with being stupid.
the police have secured a suitcase containing explosives. After last month's terrorist attacks, the president has declared a level 5 terror warning all across the country. And now the weather. People of Austria, this is your president speaking. I'm addressing every household. Um, While walking on the street and seeing someone who looks different than me, I sometimes get scared. I don't like to get scared. I don't like to judge people before I get to know them. But I have this image that pop up in my mind. Avoid any contact with the infected. If you know someone who gets contact with them, leave the room, close the door, and report them to the military. In trouble times like this, we need strong leaders, and I am prepared to take my place in the history. after a girl was abducted and was sexually abused on her way home. The, the attacker has not yet been identified, but is believed to have blonde hair. He's 1.6 meters tall. No, 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 no,
She never stopped believing. Never ever did the idea of giving up had even occurred to her. Whether it was her father, who was an alcoholic, which resulted into having troubles with funding the house and the family's needs, or the difficulty in socializing whenever they had to move around because of the struggle her father had in order to find and maintain a gainful employment, or the many sacrifices she had to do on her way to her dream, such as selling a plane of hers, or quitting her studies due to limited finances, Amelia Earhart had achieved her dream in the end, and became the pilot who she always dreamed to be. What Amelia had experienced in her life is a perfect proof that each and every one of us is capable of doing what they always dreamed to do. Besides, it's not how fast you get to your destination that counts, and neither does the destination itself. What counts is the journey to that destination.
I think it will never come true. Because it's, it's impossible for me in my country. What? I looked it up on the internet and everybody knows. On May 20, 1932, she took off from Harbour Grace, Newfoundland, into a solo flight across the Atlantic Ocean. Almost immediately, the plane ran into difficulty as she encountered thick clouds and ice on the wings. After about 12 hours, the conditions got worse and the plane started to experience mechanical difficulties. She knew she wasn't going to make it to Paris. So, she started to look for a new place to land and successfully landed. Amelia's nearly 15 hours flight established her as an international hero as she was the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. In 1937, she mysteriously disappeared as she was trying to circumnavigate the globe from the equator. far away from here, there was a princess. Her father was an owner of a floor mat company which produced and sells floor mats for cars all over the Orient. Her mother was kind and gentle. 
as were the princess and her brother. When she was 10 years old, the princess knew how to speak five different languages and learned how to play the piano and dance ballet. She slept in a bed with many, many pin cushions. And when she needed to go somewhere, she had a driver to take her. But one day, the driver got sick and the princess has to walk to school with her brother. <coughs> a bomb exploded next to her and the little pieces of the metal spikes that Isis liked to put on their bumps to make them more harmful hurt her back. All over the land, calls came from the Isis to rich men, asking them to give their money for their cause, or else they would kill their sons. So, the young princess had to leave. They found good people with special carriages to hide them in the back and paid them 10,000 euros. When it was their turn to leave, they each had to pay 5,000 euros. Of all the precious things in their home, they only took one suitcase for the three of them and many pictures. The bank was sorry that they couldn't give them any of their money because of a short and sudden internet breakdown. Inside the back of the carriage, it was dark. Once a night, when it was dark outside too, they were allowed to go out of the carriage. Five days later, they arrived at a new home. There, the princess slept together with many other people in a big room in a bed with pink blood stains instead of pink cushions and take showers that were open to the very fresh November nights. However, the family got their asylum after one month and they met again with the young prince and lived in 50 square meters apartment in Vienna. And now, the princess goes to school, but only she has to take the Uber and carry her own bag. And now, what do you think? Who is the princess?
זה המצב בנוער.
satisfied. I don't want to behave like this. This wasn't my decision. It was my government's decision. And I don't want to be identified with my government. I don't want to be identified with the flag. Ladies and gentlemen, I will not tell you my history, but I will ask you some questions. What is peace? What is the difference between war and peace? Who are the people are lucky? Anybody answer me question? Okay, we'll tell you. <laughs> peace is freedom. For example, freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and freedom of culture. Second, what is the difference between war and peace? Is the distance between sky and earth? Yeah. Who are the people are lucky? Any person are complete half lucky. For me, I believe the people is not the same like finger on the hand. But really, I can say today, my group evening, we are one hand. We can, the hand cannot walk without finger. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. The question is, how much do you want to be to open is to, to open the door? And how much do you be to open to your side? You just cannot give up your side of the story. Because there is always be two sides of the door. If we just have one side of the door, then you don't need a door. It's just you have a wall. You just have to try different directions. Because you can travel, you can move, you can change. And what we always have to do is to open the door and to try or to go around the door or just to forget the door. We just, all we have to start to do a movement. I don't know, just a movement. Move, do something. something different, without everyone repeating the same motion every time. What we need to do is that everyone do exactly what he's good at and what he wants to do at the moment. So, do we give it a try?
days, there's absolutely nothing. <laughs>